Hi, this video is going to be a general love reading for Taurus for the month of May. Hi, Taurus. All right. Let's clear the energy of the deck because I just read for Aries. All right, so angels, archangels, spirit guides, ancestors, higher self. What is our Taurus? Ooh, my ears are ringing. <laughs> what do our beautiful Tauruses need to know right now about their love life for their highest good? What do our beautiful Tauruses need to know right now? For their love life, for the month of July, for the highest good, angels, archangels, spirit guides, ancestors, and higher self, thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. What do our beautiful Tauruses need to know? That was a quick shuffle. They want me to be done. What are our beautiful Tauruses? Whoa, that one flew, Taurus. Mm. Okay, we have Knight of Swords. Nice. Someone's coming in quick. Let's get some more cards out to confirm, but it looks like your love life is going to take off quick with a knight of swords coming in like a bat out of hell. Woo! <laughs> Taurus, you guys' energy. Oh, indeed. Yep, we got knight of cups next. Can we get two more cards, please, sir? Wow. Someone's rushing in for you, Taurus. Six of Wands. Yep, and it is going to be very, very public. <laughs> All right, one more card, please, for our Tauruses. Wow, okay. One more card for Taurus, please. And then we got the Hanged Man in reverse. All righty, so there was a pause. There's not anymore. <laughs> Knight of Swords. So, someone coming in really quickly, full force. Now, this, the type of person that is represented by the Knight of Swords is generally someone who is sort of straightforward. They might be very logical, intelligent, romantic, um, very passionate. Um, they could be the type of person that tries to... They try to use their minds a lot to logic things, but when it comes to love, they're completely illogical. Um, so yes, and you see how this person is running, ru ru running, riding forward on this dragon. They have come to conquer your heart. Him or her are whoosh. They are coming for you. They, <laughs> more than one way, we got two cards of someone coming in hot, coming in quick, traveling in. This is definitely the energy of, I want that Taurus. <laughs> we got Knight of Cups. So again, someone very romantic, very passionate. This is someone who is ready to offer you a solid offer of love. And it's whenever they do it, Taurus, it's going to be very public. Six of Wands is about public recognition now sorry my chair is squeaky so when it comes to love this would be a type of person who would be is going to be very public with their love they're going to be like for example um if they were going to propose to you they would do it in a public place they would make sure that the whole world knows that you're theirs okay it's a very um alpha type energy okay and I'm not saying it's masculine or feminine. I'm just saying it's a, definitely a go-getter type energy. Very alpha. They want the world to know that you're theirs. Okay, so you got the hangs man, but it came on in reverse. So during this relationship, you're going to know who this person is. Because in the past, there was a significant pause. It was almost like, excuse me, this person couldn't decide what they wanted and then once they made up their mind that they wanted you, unpaused. Very quickly. It was like once their mind was made up, that was it. They were like, that, this person's mine. I'm snatching them up. I don't care. My mind's made up. I'm done. <laughs> and then they just went crazy. Yep. Look, and on the bottom of the deck, the world. So they're giving you a significant offer. They're going to give you the love, everything. It's just like 
they're going to offer you the world. It's it's really great energy. All right, what did I do next? Okay, so I, I've been doing, um, let's see, Romance Angels deck next. And then we're going to do the Love Oracle. Let me clear this energy for you, Taurus. And then we're going to end with the Celebration of Love deck. And your reading for July is done, my beautiful Taurus. All right, what do we got for our Tauruses, Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors? I cannot get this car these cards to shuffle for you, Taurus. Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Higher Self. What do our Tauruses need to know about their love life for July, please? What do our Tauruses need to know right now about their love life for the month of July, please? What do we got? Gracious me. All right, we're reading now for Taurus. What do our Tauruses need to know right now for their highest good, please? What do our Tauruses, your card flew, one second. Whoa, we got two cards, one and two. Whoa, good energy. <laughs> so we got honeymoon and children. Let's get two more cards just to see how this story fits in. So some of you might have children and your love life is being affected by those children. Sorry, I'm starting to sweat. I don't have the air on. I just turned it off. And now I'm getting sweaty. But I want you guys to be able to hear me. You know, my, my videos are made for you guys. And so I want you guys to have the best experience possible. And that includes turning off my air conditioner so you guys can hear me. And then I get sweaty. All right. So honeymoon children. Let's see. So for some of you, you're going to go on a trip together. You also got separation. So let me get one more card after this to see how this plays in. Because you got honeymoon and children. So and separation came out right after children. So let's see how this is going to play in. Oh, that's why. Okay. Makes sense. So we got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you guys are going to have a period. Ooh, you see that? My camera froze. Spirit guides are strong. So you guys are, some of you Tauruses, okay, you're going to be going on a trip with your significant other. It's going to be a time of bliss. And it feels very twin flamey because next is, is coming a little brief separation. Now, don't freak out. It's usually... This is very common in the twin bond because you guys will have a moment of like pure bliss and then you end up triggering some growth in each other, which naturally causes a little bit of separation while you guys integrate the new energies and the new healing energies. And then you generally will come back together in a more enlightened state. That is what happens. It is the reality of the twin journey, right? Those of you who are on it, you know what it's like. That is generally how it works. So you got that, and then it says, children, your love life is being affected by children. So you're either going to have children with this person, um, but it feels like you already have children, and both of you might have separate children, and so you don't have a lot of time to spend a lot of time together, okay? So that could be what is causing the next thing, which is separation, Okay, it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, the card that came out next to this is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So it's one of two things. I feel like it, I feel like your children, yes, could be affecting the relationship. And what I'm what I'm feeling is you might need to spend a little bit more time with your partner because if you are spending a lot of time raising each other's, you know you're they're raising their children you're raising yours you guys don't have a lot of time for each other which is okay as long as you make sure that you talk about the fact that you are devoting all of this extra time to your children it is definitely i'm not saying to stop doing that it is definitely um normal and okay to put your children first in fact most of us do right i mean <clears throat> that's just what happens when we have children especially when you have small children so it's not, excuse me, <coughs> there's some throat chakra issues. Someone's having some throat chakra issues. And it's not me, one of you guys. Usually when that happens, it's because someone is having some throat chakra issues in their relationship. So, 
<clears throat> I'm not saying necessarily that um, your love life is going to be affected by it in the long run overall. I'm just saying that it doesn't have to be affected by your children. As long as you let your partner know, hey, the reason I'm not talking to you during this time is because I'm really focused on having my children at these times. Just it, communicating with your partner and letting your partner know what's going on is going to make a big deal, you know, in the long run. It'll definitely smooth things out. All right. So I feel like separation could be because of that. And maybe there's just a small misunderstanding or because you're not loving yourself fully. Now, remember, if you're in a twin soul, twin flame relationship, and the reason I put it in quotations is because everyone calls it something different. Some people call it soulmates. I don't. Twin flame, twin soul is completely different than a soulmate. A soulmate is usually someone who is very easy to get along with. Yes, there's a deep soul connection, but there's not as much triggering as in which is, happens in this twin soul twin flame relationship the twin flame and the twin soul relationship is meant to trigger you to your highest ascension growth and path so it's not a difficult it's not a easy relationship it is oftentimes can be difficult so if you are not fully loving yourself first and you are in a twin soul relationship we all know for those of us that are in a twin soul relationship when you are with your twin soul and you do not love yourself fully, they have the potential to destroy you because they are showing you all the places where you are not loving yourself and they are not giving you that love because you are not loving yourself fully. Therefore, you have to love yourself fully in order to get them to fully love you as well. It is a very strong conundrum. <laughs> so... There might be a little bit of separation while you heal that feeling of not feeling quite lovable as you normally like to be, Taurus. Work on that issue of communicating with your partner about your children and you will move forward from there. Um, and on the bottom of the deck, you got let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So if you need to get a babysitter, have one of your friends babysit your child, your children, so that you guys can spend some time together. There you go. Problem solved. All right. Now we're going to move on to the love oracle, Taurus. What do our Tauruses need to know about their love life for their highest good for the month of July, please? After this, I'll be reading for Gemini and then Cancer and Leo, maybe Virgo, and then I'll probably call it a night. What do our beautiful Tauruses need to know about their love life for the month of July, please? Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Higher Self. One more shuffle. All right, can we get three cards, please, for our beautiful Tauruses? First card, you got wowzers. Good job. We got change. We got, ooh, faded meeting. Ooh, this card keeps coming out for a lot of you right now. So for a lot of you, if you do not know who your twin soul is yet or your person, you are meeting them soon. A lot of, I just read for Aries and they got the exact same thing. I picked up on two different timelines for Aries and they also got faded meeting. We get one more, please. Okay. So we got change. So you're going to have lots of changes right now in your love life. Um, I don't know what that means, but I'm sure you're going to know exactly what that means. You got faded meeting. So for some of you, if you haven't met your person, they're right around the corner. It's 1414 right now on my on my camera. So that's confirmation for some of you. 14 and 14. Add it up and it um let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It needs to ten. Ten. Yes. Alright, so the next card you got is player. So this card will be different for everyone. If you are in a relationship with someone right now, you Taurus and you're getting this energy vibe of they're not being honest there's your confirmation it's they're a player um for some of you this is it's going to be different for everybody for some of you it's going to be because the next card that came out is music 
So for some of you, it is maybe this person used to be a player, you came into their life and you changed them because like I said, you got the faded meeting right before it. Faded meeting. So if they were in this energy before, possibly when you meet them, you're going to change that player attitude. You're, they're going to be completely smitten with you. Um, music will be a big factor in your relationship with this person. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. For all of you, it's going to be different. I feel like for some of you, excuse me, your person might be really into music. They might be a musician. For some of you, this person, you'll know who they are because they're always sending you songs. Like, for instance, my person, he sends me music all day. Just all day. <laughs> like, songs, um, songs that he listens to, he'll just pop them in my inbox. And that is his way of showing love and affection. You know, so for some of you, that's what this is. You'll know that this is your person because they will send you music. They'll, they'll send you songs so that you know how they're feeling. For some of you, though, you know, it very well could be your person is a music musician. They're a player. You're going to know if this is this pertains to you, you know. Um, if that's the case, you have a faded meeting coming up with someone else and that could be what the change is. You know, there you go. All right, so we're going to go on to your celebration of love. I feel like that was two different timelines too. It's so weird. I feel like for all of the signs, I've been picking up two different timelines because everything in the beginning looked really good for your love life. Then all of a sudden it took like, this weird turn. So again, I feel like it was two different timelines I'm reading for. Two different groups of people. Strange. It's been happening like that lately. Spirit is like, we're going to fit in as much group of people <laughs> as we can. There's a moth that's flying above me. and it's Alright, so let's clear this energy. What is the last thing you'd like for us to know about their love life for the month of July, please? What is the last thing our beautiful Tauruses need to know right now? For their love life, for their highest good, for the month of July. I might just try to read for Gemini because I'm getting a little bit tired. I have two Patreons I still have to read for. And then I think I'm going to call it quits. I'll probably do Cancer, Leo, and Virgo tomorrow. All right, we got Innovation, Precious Earth. So for some of you, your person is a very grounded, just like you, Taurus. They might have a very um, hippie type vibe. <laughs> They're probably very earthy. We got oneness, breath of light. So this is the reminder that, you know, um, separation is always an illusion. We're all connected and you are definitely connected to your soul partner, always. So we got innovation, precious earth. You guys might have a shared love of um, Mother Earth too. Breath of life, oneness. There's dragons on here. There is dolphins and a volcano. For some of you, it's a very passionate relationship. You're going to know because it's going to resonate that passion, that fire, I definitely see it. Your person's a dragon. They're very fiery. You got the rainbow, which for some of you represents union. In the twin soul, twin flame relationship, rainbows usually represent union. There's a lot of energy of very strong third eye. So for some of you, your intuition is very strong. You've been using that to connect with your partner. See, we're going to read these straight from the book. Those are the channeled messages I've, I'm getting for you, Taurus. For some of you, that's probably how you found your person. Your intuition led you right to them. Where is this? Sorry, you can fast forward. I know I'm trying to find it. Humility, impeccability, innocence. Here it is, innovation. 
this image celebrates that the stewardship of our planet is in our hands. It calls us to acknowledge that our creator gifted us with the ability to co-create with him or her through our power of free will. Make a choice today for the earth. Decide to do something environmentally conscious, no matter how small, and stick with it. Make it a part of who you are from now on. So this is about when you love your planet Earth, it makes it a whole lot easier for you to feel romantic, right? Taurus, especially for Tauruses, because you guys are Earth signs and you have that very strong connection to Mother Earth. There are substances you use and things in your home that are not safe or environmentally friendly. You are being inspired to replace these substances with substitutes that will do the job, but will leave you and the earth a bit healthier. So that definitely allows us all to feel good. It's an energy of love yourself, love Mother Earth, love your partner better, right? We can all use a little bit of Mother Earth love. Because Mother Earth is the home of our loves, right? How can we experience love and romance if we're not loving our great mother? <clears throat> All right, so we need oneness. That's the wrong way. Okay, oneness. This image celebrates the good or the God parts in all persons, places, and things. No matter what our preconceived notions and prejudices are, it calls us to look beyond the surface impressions and the externals and actively seek the common ground of the oneness of all. Make a list of the traits and things about yourself that you are most critical of and become the complete opposite, the most positive version of that trait. Make a conscious choice from this time forward to embrace the highest aspects within yourself and let them shine forth. So this is about taking all your negative aspects, negative aspects. I say that because there's no such thing as black and white, bad or good, negative or positive. It's all perspective. But the things that you perceive in yourself to be negative, make a list of them and then do the exact opposite of them because you are worthy you are loved and you are perfect just the way you are, Taurus. Check yourself for hidden prejudices and ill thoughts about certain people in your life. You are being inspired to release these dense thoughts and replace them with thoughts of positive aspects and higher frequency brought about by love. So not only can you do this exercise to dispel and get rid of all of those negative thoughts that you think about yourself you can also use these beautiful affirmations and positive thoughts to also dispel negative thoughts about others and live in the greatest frequency which is love Taurus so banish all of those bad feelings that you're feeling about people and allow yourself to judge less and to love more all right, that's all we got, Taurus. I love you. Mwah.